grocery haul for the week. The first bit is from Publix and the second bit is from Target. Let me get Grace's pills out of the way. Uh, Yasso bars were on sale and for 90 and 100 calories respectively, I got cookies and cream and birthday cake. I definitely wanted to get my hands on those for a nice, easy, low-cal snack. I got two of the flat-out light spinach wraps because we plowed through those. I plowed through those. My husband had one or two. But rather than being like, oh no, I ran out, I have to run back to Publix, I decided to buy two because I know I'm going to eat them. A uh, new to me purchase, Ithaca lemon dill hummus. I know I wanted hummus and I knew that dill pickle hummus existed. I did not see it, but the lemon dill was a flavor that intrigued me. And for two tablespoons, it's only 60 calories, which I think is awesome. So this will be really, really good with some baby carrots for lunch. I got two pounds. It's the same meat. It is the Boar's Head All-American Barbecue Chicken. I got myself another container of Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. I really love buying these while they're down here, while I'm down here, because of the stats. And I actually started pairing these with a Fairlife Nutrition Shake. So I got my fiber. I got like a solid food thing and only 90 calories for two cookies. So good. I got onions. I got bananas. I got soy sauce. And I got Worcestershire. Worcestershire, if you can see that. And then the salad kits that were on sale were like their special gourmet one. So I got apple cheese and walnut and Makoto honey ginger for the salad kits. We're going to throw some baby shrimp in those. And then at Target, I got just baby carrots, some egg whites, um, my special dandruff shampoo because uh, head and shoulders ain't cutting it right now. And the most important things, Christmas movies. Yes, um, I was heartbroken when I realized that we forgot to pack these so I could watch uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer this year. And I decided finally, like I looked at purchasing them online options. You could buy this kit for like 30 bucks online, digitally, whatever. Um, this was like $17 and Love Actually was like $8. <laughs> and so now I'm just going to leave these at this house. And so this house has them and my house has them and I know my parents' house has them. So... We are set to go with that. I also went over to Vitamin Shop just to kind of see what was new and pick up one product in particular, but I ended up finding these um, protein or Prime Bites, Alpha Prime Bites brownies. They are essentially um, their version of the Eat Me Guilt Free brownie. They have 16 grams of protein. They do not, like the new formula of Eat Me Guilt Free that I have abandoned. Um, they have, so they have a little bit more protein. I think these are 16 grams and the other one is 14, the Eat Me Go Free. Um, but Eat Me Go Free put like fructose and stuff in it. They do not have that. However, they do have erythritol and monk fruit and in a pretty significant amount. Where's the nutrition label? I don't know if my camera will actually focus, but over by sugars, it says sugar alcohol, 10 grams. That is more than I typically like to eat in a serving of something. I try to, if something has sugar alcohol in it, I'd like it to say like two grams or one gram. So I ate, as you can tell, I ate this chocolate cookie monster one. It tasted fine. It was more volume than the eat me go free ones, which are really small and dense now. Um, so, and it was actually, it was pretty good. Was it mind blowing? No, it was not, but it was pretty good. So what we're going to do now is see how my tummy reacts to it before I try the other one. The other one I got is a birthday cake. The reason I went over there is because I've been dying to try these for the longest time. These are the legendary food pop tart things. Um, they have 20 grams of protein in them, but they unfortunately also have um, 12 grams, not just of sugar alcohol, but like straight erythritol. So we're going to see how these are. Tr uh, full transparency, I'm not optimistic, but I wanted to try these so I can stop wondering whether or not I like them. My friend Jordan messaged me and she said, I thought they were absolutely terrible. I tried them room temperature and warmed up. They were bad. Maybe you'll like them. <laughs> We'll see. Um, I already kind of have formulated opinion, but I'm optimistic. Well, I'm not optimistic. I want to be optimistic. I want these to be good, but I'm so busy. Every time I see them pop up, I'm like, oh, I need to try them. Oh, I need to try them because I have FOMO, right? Um, I, will ha I will try these and no longer have FOMO and I will either like them or hate them and never want to eat them again. So I stopped there for that. And then I have an important, well, I have two packages actually. 
My first package is a box of everything being the same, and that is a whole box of Western Bagel Perfect 10 Bagels. I love these. They're 150 calories. I got the everything flavor, 19 grams of protein, 9 grams of fiber. I use these to make my turkey sandwich with the onion and chive cream cheese and cucumbers, and it is just my favorite thing ever. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm slightly disappointed because their website said things were buy one, get one free, and I only got one free. Free. I bought four and I only got one free. Um, so I have to ask what that is about. I'm wondering if it's like buy one of any product and get the same product free. And I screwed myself because I bought all the same product. I don't know. But either way, I'm very excited that my bagels are here. So I have to get those all put away. I store these in the freezer, like they say, and just pull them out as I'm going to use them. The last thing we got is Hello Fresh. We are introducing my in-laws to the world of food subscription boxes because they never cook for themselves ever. And we're trying to encourage more healthy behavior like homemade meals. And even though these meals, like for example, these white cheddar burgers, I believe the serving size is still a thousand calories, which I'll be honest, made me freak out a little bit being trying to be back in weight loss mode and all that, but more on that in a second. It's actually not something worth freaking out about because general maintenance calories is anywhere between like 1800 and that's for like a light or older individual to like 2200 calories, 2300 calories. So like it's really not a big deal that one meal is worth a thousand calories, especially if you don't fuel yourself throughout the rest of the day, right? So it's not all that bad. So we're trying out this week um, and showing them, hey, this is a pretty cool thing. It's a way that they can order groceries and not have to keep going to the grocery store, things like that. Um, so we have white cheddar Wonder Burgers and that is made with, um, I think, Old Bay seasoned potato wedges. We have figgy balsamic pork, which I have made before. And this is the recipe that actually taught me how to make a balsamic glaze for which I have continued to make even though I haven't repurchased the specific recipe from HelloFresh. So it's, I love these subscription boxes because they teach, they have taught me so many things. We've tried Blue Apron, we've tried HelloFresh, we've done Green Chef, we've done Home Chef. And I learn new cooking techniques while using them and trying them, which is worth the cost of admission, if you ask me. Um, and then we actually are trying something new, plant-based protein ragu rigatoni bake because it was pasta-based. And I'm like, well, if it's a ground fake meat, at least because it's ground up and in a dish covered in cheese, nobody will notice. So that is... Our grocery plan, we have, uh, we bought four servings of each, so this will feed all four of us for one night. Typically, my husband and I will order the four servings of the meals too, and we'll do three meals at four servings each, and that will feed us for six of the seven days of the week. But since we have four people here, it's only gonna work for one night, but you know what? That's gonna be fine. It'll make sure there's variety, but more minimal prep. Yes, I have to cook three nights, well, four nights, because then I'm going to make a skinniest dish meatloaf as requested. Um, and that'll feed us for the rest of the week easy. So it'll be a week full of cooking, but it'll be good cooking. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Vlogmas 2022. My name is Brianna, the diva behind Diva and the Divine, and I'm glad you're here. Today is Thursday, December 6th, already December 6th. And you are in the kitchen because we are going to try something that I'm not very optimistic about together. This is the Legendary Foods protein Pop-Tart looking thing. Um, in a previous video, probably in the last video, I don't know where I'm gonna actually put the, the grocery haul. Um, I have to figure out what footage I actually have and compile it together and whatnot. But I purchased a couple of these at Vitamin Shop. Vitamin Shop, that's where I went. And I'll be honest with you, I posted on Instagram that I purchased them and I got multiple messages saying, OMG, those things are so stinking good. I also got a message from my friend Jordan that said, OMG, those things are absolute crap. And you know what? I tried the birthday cake one yesterday and I would have to say right now, I side with Jordan. Absolutely disgusting, brutally bad, not awesome. So today we're going to try the flavor that I am most optimistic about. This is the brown sugar cinnamon flavor. Classic Pop-Tart flavor. You know, can't, can't go wrong, shouldn't go wrong. And you know what we're gonna do just to make sure we give it the good old college try? We're gonna put it in a toaster. We are going to toast it just like a regular Pop-Tart and see how it goes. So I'm gonna put that in there. 
We're gonna let that toast away. I don't actually know if you're supposed to toast them, but we're going to toast it and see how it goes. And in the meantime, let's chat about the nutrition information. So one of these Pop-Tarts, you only get one in a pack, not two, is 180 calories. Great, fine, awesome. 20 grams of protein, great, fine, awesome. Eight grams of fat, 24 carbs, seven of which are fiber. So far, so good. My one big hesitation is that there are 12 grams of erythritol in here. Y'all know, y'all know how I feel about my sugar substitutes, right? Um, and how erythritol just doesn't appear to agree with me. Now, yesterday I actually tried, also purchased these brownies from Alpha Prime Bites Protein Brownies. It's essentially a new type of eat me goat free brownie. 16 grams of protein in here. Doesn't have fructose, which is what I hated about, well, it's one of the many things I hated. Eat me goat free, took a perfect product, and then destroyed it by trying to make it better. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it's awful now and I have not purchased from them since they made the change. So bad. Um, these are the new new version. It's not. It has nothing to do with Eat Me Guilt Free, but I feel like that wasn't long enough, yo. Toast again. Um, anyway, new protein brownies on the market. I tried their Oreo one yesterday and I thought maybe possibly I would have digestive issues with that because this boasts 11 grams of sugar alcohols, but it is a combo sugar alcohol of monk fruit, erythritol, and stevia. And I, I was waiting for my tummy to be upset and that never came. So apparently, at least yesterday, this brownie sat well with me. These are, it's not like a sugar alcohol combo. It appears to be straight erythritol. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to be completely honest with you, see if this is crap or not. All right. Flaw number one, the ice cream, or the ice cream, the icing melted. I'm, I'm actually afraid to eat this, you guys. I'm going to slice it open with a knife because it's too hot. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's so hot. Hot, 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 hot. Here's what the answer. Not... Not a lot of uh, filling. Nope. 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 Okay. So this one, exponentially better than the birthday cake one, but there's something about the icing. The icing is basically just like protein junk with water. And because there was icing on top, I'm actually now no longer mad that the icing melted because the filling itself for the brown sugar one exclusively. The birthday cake one was utter crap. It was bad. The filling on this one, not bad. The icing on top, not good. Pastry itself, completely flavorless. So, I have literally picked through and I'm just eating out the icing. So I have no idea how to track this, but you know what? I don't care. Um, so here's what I'm leaving behind. The reality is, if you like them, good for you. If this is what I assumed was going to be the best flavor and it is mediocre at best, not worth the money at all Ugh. all right time for real breakfast okay 
So this week, as I showed you guys previously, we got HelloFresh as our meal plan for three of the days for the week um, because we're trying out meal kits like this to see if my in-laws like them enough to continue after we have left. And I'm not gonna lie, HelloFresh, while delicious, um, in order to get meals that my in-laws would actually eat, we've had to pick some of the higher calorie ones. So for example, tonight, we're actually trying something very new to us, plant-based protein. We figured the best way to try plant-based protein, like um, impossible ground beef, right, is to cover it in sauce and cheese. That's the best way to disguise it to see if we can actually tolerate it, right? So, um, but because this is an Italian dish, we're like, well, it's covered in cheese, it's covered in sauce, we like that flavor profile, there's pasta, great, let's try this. So this is what I'm making for dinner tonight. And what I just did was busted open my fitness pal to pre-track my day. I have my breakfast tracked, I have my lunch tracked, and I have my dinner tracked and feeling really really good about that i did actually for the sake of the holiday season and just the way things are happening right now i actually upped my calories and took i'm um, taking things very very simple from now until the holidays and i actually used jordan syed's um like goal weight times 12 formula thing as like a calorie ceiling like the max calories that i should be eating in a day which ended up being 1800 which helps a lot when you have Things like this, where your dinner is a thousand calories. No joke. According to this, it is one thousand. The burgers are one thousand twenty calories. So having eighteen hundred calories as my ceiling a day still allows eight hundred calories for me to mess with for the rest of the day, which is super super helpful. But what I wanted to share is what they give you on HelloFresh is they give you a complete breakdown, including the measurements of what the ingredients are. So just for funsies, I plugged them all in to the tracker and. I ended up with not a 910 calorie dinner, but a 781 calorie dinner. Not quite sure where the discrepancy is there, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna track the lower, the lower amount of things because I tracked every ingredient that was here. That was worth tracking. I didn't track the scallions. I didn't track the spices, you know, things like that. But like the cheese, the cream cheese, the panko breadcrumbs, the crushed tomatoes. I even I even did the crushed tomatoes, um, and I'm clocking in at like 150 calories less. So we're gonna take that as a win. And if you really wanted to, you could do the exact same thing with all of your HelloFresh meals. This is not sponsored, by the way. Uh, and just break it down by ingredient and maybe it'll save you a couple of calories. I don't know. So, and, and are you actually saving the calories? No freaking idea. I have no idea. Um, so am I cheating myself with 150 calories? It's possible, but also by the book, it makes sense, right? So um, I'm doing that. My entire day is pre-tracked and I still have 322 calories to mess around with for my calorie ceiling. I'm hoping that with my lunch, I stay nice and full until dinner. We will see. But that's that's what's going on with my food today. I'm feeling on track. I have exceeded my fiber goal. I have 40 grams of sugar remaining with all of my pre-trackedness, and I have to figure out 18 grams of protein. So there's that. When I tell you, I have been waiting for this lunch for days. I am so excited. So my Protein bagel from Western Bagels is toasting. And let me show you all the other ingredients I have here. So the magic happens in that my condiment is the Philadelphia onion and chive cream cheese. You can get a full serving, which is two tablespoons, so a very generous amount of creamy deliciousness for 80 calories. This is full fat, not a light version or anything like that. We have a slice of cheese. We have deli chicken. The technical sandwich I'm trying to replicate from Einstein Brothers is technically called the tasty turkey. Chicken works fine. Whatever. Cucumbers, which I hope my cucumbers are still good. And that's everything that goes into the sandwich. But first, while that's toasting, I thought we would taste test together this new purchase of mine, the Ithaca lemon dill hummus. I've never had this before, but this is going to be my dip for my carrots. And I'm very excited because I've been wanting dill hummus for a while now and lemon and dill sounded really interesting. So just, we taste it, when I taste things, I taste things straight out of the container. Oh, oh, that is lovely. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Really, really good. Oh, I can't even explain to you what, I mean, it's lemon and dill. The, the, the title is legit, but 
Holy moly, that's delicious. Yes, highly recommend. Here she is, folks, a thing of beauty, clocking in the whole plate, clocking in at 555-ish calories and 47 grams of protein. 47, and it's freaking delicious. No wonder I love this lunch so much. Since you tagged me in that very video, my followers have doubled. Awesome. Oh, I got a DM for this morning for a house and home shoot. So apparently we're just doing today's vlog entirely from this spot in the kitchen. So I am about to start making our HelloFresh meal with our plant-based protein. I've never had plant-based protein before. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's like their version. It's from the Blue Butcher plant-based protein ground. We'll see. We'll see. We're covering it in sauce and cheese. And so hopefully that will mask any uh, flavor issues we have. But I want to give you a work smarter, not harder tip. Y'all know that it takes me forever to chop and cut and do all the things in the kitchen with these hands of mine. Well, recently I discovered that your kitchen shears actually really useful for participating in the food prep. Duh, I don't know what took me so long, but we're taking our scallions here and uh, let me aim you down actually. And check this out. Check out how easy this is. All you do is you use your kitchen shears to choppy choppy. And at home, I actually got, my mother-in-law sent me herb shears that have like four or five blades on them. So it'll cut things up real fine, which is awesome, but we don't have those here. So I'm doing this, but this is so much easier. Yes, I have to do the scissoring motion, but you know what? It's easier than handling a knife and it's letting me chop things up nice and fine, which is exactly what I need to do. And I don't know what the heck took me so long to use this in the kitchen. Brilliant. In other news, um, today I got a notification from Facebook that something that I posted violated a community guideline, but funny story, I haven't posted anything. So I have no idea why or how I violated a community guideline. And I found my um, little like inbox that is supposed to have your notifications for community guideline violations in it. There's nothing recent there. Apparently I was flagged for something in like August, but the person who flagged it repealed it or took it back or whatever the case may be. Um, so I literally don't have a single guideline that I can see and yet I've been banned for posting for 24 hours. So if you're somebody that's in the accountability group, there ain't gonna be no post today because Facebook is not gonna let me post. So I don't know what that's about. Has anybody else had a problem with Facebook doing that? At first I thought it was a whole, like someone trying to hack back into my Facebook account, but no, I have all the security stuff set up, so that's not a problem. I even checked, where am I trying to log in from? Only here, awesome. But come on, Facebook, get it together. And I checked Instagram too. Do I have an Instagram violation? No, nothing there either. What the heck? All right, friends, so you remember how I said that tonight's dinner was a 900 calorie meal and I kind of broke it down and it was really closer to 750 calories. Um, here's the thing, all four of us have eaten our fill. There's literally enough here to feed all four of us again. So actually the calorie breakdown for this meal is a lot more stellar than I initially thought. And the four person serving is actually like a six to eight person serving. So there we go.